What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, quick video today, just cause like, I've been getting a lot of like comments recently. They're like, oh I wanna get as lean as you, blah blah blah. So I figured I should just touch upon like the reality of being lean or the leanest that at least my experience with how like lean I am right now. Before we get to that, we did do a little quick back workout that I guess we'll show here just because I mean a fitness channel and the back workout is actually a really good workout. And we're also at Chop Salad, which I'm about to go inside to get a salad while you guys watch the video because that's one of the reasons why I stay so lean. Low calorie dense food. Anyways, enjoy the video. I'm about to get my salad and I'll see you in two seconds. Alright, salad acquired. I know this looks really creamy and stuff, but this is their light creamy lemon dressing. 15 calories per serving. I'm not gonna use the whole thing, probably use half, so about 30 calories. Anyways, that's one of the main points I guess about being lean is eating like low calorie dense foods like this, right? Like I estimate this to be around 300, between 300 and 350 calories, literally just lettuce, apples, beets, tomatoes, pickled onions, and chicken, right? So this is one of the things, if you wanna get lean, you have to eat low calorie dense foods. If not, if I were to go to McDonald's and have like a burger, a small little cheeseburger in itself would probably be around 300, 400 calories, right? And that's not gonna fill you up. This will keep me filled for a while, right? But the main reason why I'm, I want to do this video is because people are always commenting and like telling me like, oh, I want to be a Lindsay, I want to be a Lindsay, which like, you honestly like, don't, right? Because like, it might sound weird, like, I'm lean, right? I probably think I'm around 7, 8% body fat. Somewhere around there, right? But it's not too hard for me to like maintain this level of leanness, right? Like, but don't get me wrong, it's not it's not easy, right? Like, I definitely make sacrifices. Like, I eat foods like that. Not that I don't love salad, right? I love salads. Shout out Chop, they need to sponsor me because I come all the time. But anyways, like, I love the foods that I eat. But dude, I'm not eating like burgers and and pizza and donuts and cookies and all this other stuff whenever I want, right? So I have to sacrifice stuff like that. Um, I don't go out. I don't party. I don't drink anymore. I'm eating foods like this, right? So that's one thing you have to do if you want to get like lean, right? But when people say they want to be as lean as me, you have to remember that like everyone's genetics, everyone it, it's completely different, right? Everyone has a point where their body like it wants them to be at, right? Like where it's like a healthy body fat for them. And yeah, you could diet and stuff to, to bring it lower than that, but if, like someone's genetics wants them to be around 20% body fat. Yeah, you could diet to like fit like 15, right? And it's gonna be you have to make sacrifices and stuff, but like 
anything lower than that, if you want to get single digit body fat, when your body naturally wants to be 20% body fat, it's going to be super, super hard. And you're going to be struggling. You're going to feel like shit probably all the time, very low energy and stuff like that. Take whatever you have, right? And, and Greg Doucette says this a lot. Like, take the body that you have and go for the body that you imagine, right? All right so take the body that you think you want to have and get to half of that. And that's going to be better than where you're at right now, right? Even me personally, like, I, this level of leanness, right? The past week, I've kind of found myself like kind of low energy um i wasn't like super like amped like to go to the gym like before the gym once i'm there though like i'm in it and like i'm locked in and focused but like i just felt like really low energy like and when you're this lean like you feel like skinny like during the day like i remember like last week the lowest i've ever weighed in in the past two years i weighed in at 147 147 pounds and i saw that in the morning and i was doing like like damn like i feel really light i remember a couple months ago i was weighing probably like 155, 156. I think the heaviest I've ever seen was like 158. That's probably like last year. But um, yeah, like I, I just felt, I just felt low energy and stuff. So I definitely want to increase my calories a little bit, or just decrease the cardio because you guys know I love doing a lot of cardio and stuff. But um, it's not like sustainable. I think like a good body fat for me would be like eight to nine, and I still have like tons of energy to go. Not even just throughout my workouts and my cardio, but just everyday activities, right? My business related, um, work related, whatever, whatever the case is. I say to get as lean as you can get, but as that still gives you energy to go throughout workouts, gym, they're making progress, they're like you're, you're you know, making like slow and like steady gains. I'm not saying bulk and do stuff like that, right? Because you guys know I'm not big on bulking and putting on just excess body fat, water, glycogen. And yeah, you're gonna be moving weight, but you have to remember mass moves mass, right? So like you think you're getting stronger and like and like and like a lot bigger and stuff, but once you diet back down, you're gonna like lose all that and realize you're not really as strong as you thought you were. Another point I want to touch on too is like when you're like pretty lean and stuff, like you can't expect massive, you know, gains in the gym and massive like PRs. You're not gonna be PRing every other workout. You're not gonna be PRing probably every week, every two weeks. But as long as you're making steady progress, maybe like every other week or maybe every like third week or something, that like, you have to know that it's gonna be a lot slower of a progress. But that's honestly the 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 route I rather take because I feel like it's more a sustainable route. Um, and it's like quality muscle, right? You're not like just bulking, like I said, and putting up, uh, getting it like a lot heavier and stuff. You think you're, you think you're getting stronger, but in reality, you know, it's just a lot of just, it's actually just water weight, glycogen, mass, um, probably some muscle, but also probably a lot of fat too. But expect there to be days where you're not as strong, you know what I mean? Not even that like, you just feel like weaker some days. Um, and expect that throughout the day that, like I said before, like you like, sometimes like I, I feel skinny and I'm like, damn. I kind of look like, you know, like a bitch right now. Like, <laughs> like I need to gain weight. Um, and this is another thing mentally, too, because sometimes, like, I'm very good with, like, being very confident, I guess, in, like, how I look and, and everything. But there are some times where, like, I know I need to increase my calories, right? And I know I want to get a little bit bigger. That way I can make a little bit more, like, progress and put on a little bit more muscle in the gym. But it's just, like, when I when I do eat a little bit more, or, like, I'm like, oh. Because I've seen, right, how lean I am, how lean I can get, right? Like, I've seen, like, veins and striations and stuff that I've never seen before. And, like... A couple months ago, like I thought I was lean, and like I wasn't even nowhere as lean as I am now. You know what I mean? So like when I you see that, and then when you want to change and like put on a little bit more body fat, it's just mentally, it's just getting over that mental block. Like oh, like damn, I don't want to look like I don't want to get a little fatter. Like I, I like seeing all these lines, I like seeing all this stuff. But then you have to just make sacrifices. Like like I would say all the time, like because you know it's gonna it's gonna benefit you in the long run. Um, and I don't just eat salads, right? Because they're low calorie dense foods. That is one of the reasons. But I also genuinely love salads. A lot of guys ask me what I get too. Lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, apples, beets, grilled chicken, red wine vinegar, and a low calorie dressing. Delicious. To wrap it all up, I'm kind of like rambling now, I guess. Um, I hit all the main points, but mostly genetics. You don't need to be as lean as me. Don't ever look at someone else. Like, yeah, you can look at people and be like, oh, like that's like, I want to, you know, get to that level. He motivates me to, to be a better version of myself. But never look at someone and be like, I want to look exactly like them because it's not going to happen, right? I can't look at the Steve Cooks and the and Simeon Pandas and be like, oh, I want to look like that. I'm 5'7", 150 pounds right now. I'm not going to automatically look like Simeon Panda, which is probably like 6'1", 200 and, I don't know, 15, 20 pounds of muscle, even though I think I am leaner than him right now. But anyways, yeah, it's, it's just look at people to motivate you just to look like the best version of yourself. Don't look at someone and be like, I want to look like them. Like, I always say, like, genetics plays a big role, but don't also ever blame your genetics. I hate when people blame their genetics for, like, not being the best version of themselves. Like, oh, I'll never like that. Like, I can't. My genetics aren't like that. 
I was gonna, I don't wanna curse, but screw your genetics, right? If your genetics suck, right? I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day, but you could be, make it better than what it is, right? Someone like Chris, for example, and I'm not saying his genetics are ass, but it was just bringing me to a point that like, he he found himself that, he, he got really lean, all right? So, like for him, like he probably was around like, I wanna say 11, 12% body fat, which is a good body fat, like a healthy body fat percentage is anywhere between like 12 and 15, like that's optimal, right? But um, he felt himself struggling a lot, without not a lot of energy, and he just like, it was hard for him to get anything lower than that. So. Was he as lean as me? No. Was he as lean as he could possibly get without feeling like shit? Probably, yeah. Um, which, which is good, but you know, he decided that he doesn't want, he doesn't want to feel like that. So he increases calories and he's getting stronger in the gym and stuff, and he still looks good, right? So that's just an example. Of damn fly. That's just an example of of like of just knowing your body, right? I mean, yeah, he could have probably went you know a little bit lower, but he would have been struggling and suffering. He no wants to feel like that. You need energy and stuff throughout the, to go throughout you know daily activities and stuff. And you also want to enjoy what you do, right? Because like, nothing's worse like, you know, when you're struggling, suffering, you're hungry. Last thing you want to do is go to the gym. You know what I mean? You want you want to eat food. And he was thinking about food all the time, which, I, and and I've had days like that too, where like, I were like, I'm thinking about food. I'm thinking about the meal after the meal that I'm eating right now, which makes no sense. That's so stupid to me, right? You know what I mean? Eat to be satiated. Eat to be full. Eat the foods you like. Low calorie dense foods. Make make smarter options when you want to eat something that's a little bit, you know higher in calories or like off plan a little bit. Um, just make some substitutions, make it healthier than what it is and do that. So yeah, I guess I just wanted to clear that up. Um, just of what to expect if you really want to get lean and just like my experiences with being lean. So I think I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna increase my calories a little bit. Um, going into the winter now too, it's getting a little cooler out. Um, I'm probably, I'm, I wanna say I'm around seven to eight right now. I think optimal for me will be around nine to 10. And uh, yeah, I still want to have my abs because you know winter's not an excuse to not get to to let go of your abs. You know what I mean? I, I still want to have abs, and I, and I just like being lean. But um, the level of leanness I am right now is just not it wouldn't be the smartest for me to hold it all year round. You know what I mean? Because I do want to eventually get pack on a, you know a lot more muscle and stuff. And the, only, the the smarter thing to do would just be add a little bit more body fat and then increase my calories a little bit. But that all being said. I'm still gonna enjoy my low calorie dense foods. I do love salads. Look at how big this is. It's as big as my head. About 300 calories. And um, I'm not gonna be going to McDonald's every year. I actually haven't been to McDonald's in that long. I don't know. It's been a while. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this has made sense. I hope you guys got a little bit of context behind it and um, just clear things up and, and just inspires you just to be the best version of you and just keep killing your goals, keep doing whatever you're doing. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Have a lot of big things planned in the upcoming weeks. I'm um, talking to a lot of people and just trying to get everything to come together, right? And merch, still a couple sizes left. So if you want some some merch, definitely hit the link down below. Um, some of the fuck average stuff, but I have more designs, more. I have some long sleeves, some hoodies coming out. So be on the lookout for that. Different designs. Super excited. I'm literally talking to like my designer right now and he's gonna have me some like digital samples by Saturday so I'm and it's Thursday right now so in two days um, super excited link down below if you want any supplements EHP labs links down below code Isaiah 10 right there workout programs you want to train like me and follow everything that I do that'll be linked down below too and I know I said I was gonna dye my hair and I was supposed to do it today right but I missed out last second I don't know it has to be one of those days where like cause I had an appointment plan and everything it has to be like one of those days where like it's a spontaneous I'm like, oh, like let's just do it um, because last night I had too much time to think about it and that's all I was thinking about in the gym today. Anyways, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.